Hey folks, Blade of Maya here. Um, I'm currently editing a thumbnail for a video that's going to be uploaded uh, later today and I thought it would be interesting to just do a quick uh, show and tell on how I try to make my thumbnails pop more on YouTube. Um, if you have any better recommendations on how to do this, I'm all ears. I just wanted to share my current method here in the hopes that it might help uh, some of you improve on thumbnails and yeah again if you have any recommendations on how to even uh, up my thumbnail game even further then I'm all ears. So this is my um, usual thumbnail file or th th just the file that I use to generate thumbnails. It's all um, structured so I have a lot of screenshots that I group maybe some characters so for example uh, this one here I put together for the MAGFM uh, I'm using Affinity Designer on Mac OS it's also available on Windows and I highly recommend it to anybody um, I've used Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign in the past and this is just so much better and cheaper and they continue uh, innovating on their software so I can highly recommend it Affinity Designer Anyway, so what I'll usually do is I'll just take a screenshot from a action scene of one of my videos um, pop that in I have this um, black overlay with a transparent gradient so it goes from so the fill goes from transparent on the left hand side to uh, black on the right hand side and I can even um, change that on the fly if I need to. I also could like, do it like this so it the text would be more readable and for me at least what I understand it's all about readability of the text in the thumbnails so I try my best to make sure that the contrast is right between uh, the text and the background. So in this case this look, looks already nice but I want to make the action inside the thumbnail pop even more and what I've started doing is so I have this one layer this one screenshot here um, and I usually create a copy of that screenshot so that's this layer here so actually let me re rename those like um, top layer and then the bottom layer like this and after I've done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a certain vibrancy to the bottom layer so let's let's see um, so here that's the way I usually do it I just search the help menu for the action that I need so it's layer new adjustment and then vibrance so I can just click here and it will show me on macOS where exactly the option is and if I click here it will apply a new vibrancy effect so right now the top layer is deactivated so what we're seeing is the bottom layer and I'm going just to like up the vibrancy to the max here and you can see it looks way over um, over emphasized and you can see it also emphasizes the background a lot but I don't want that what I want is just the characters to stand in the foreground and the background just should fade away into um, grayness so I guess right now what I'll do is I'll just keep that at 100% we can play around with this later and then what I'll do is I'll just activate the top layer so you can already see the difference in vibrancy from uh, this little change actually let me make, let me make that bigger here um, and then I'm just going to activate the top layer change into pixel mode so uh, or like pixel persona so affinity has like two personas one is with uh, vector uh, graphics and elements and one is with pixels and in the pixel mode I'm just going to use the eraser here to erase the elements from the top layer that I want to pop out more so here you can see uh, I'm just removing the top layer which will then reveal the bottom layer um, with the helmet here and I'm just going to do that for for my character for now because I think the finger there, the orange phantom 
is already popping up more and I want my character to pop a bit. So I'm just doing this really rough here just to see um, how that will look in the end. So here we can get the whole armor set. And as I do this, you can see um, at one point it, it's uh, a bit unclear what already has been removed. So what I usually do is I'll just remove the bottom layer and then you will get this effect that it's just the next layer um, after this that will be revealed. So I can actually just remove all of that here. So let's do that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because YouTube thumbnails tend to be small enough um, that you don't see much anyway or like much detail. Um, so let's see. So let's have the clean rod knight sword here um, like this. Then the hand. Let's just do the whole outline here and then uh, one of the helmet wings just to be yeah this is can be quite calming almost like a Bob Ross doing a Bob Ross painting sometimes little maybe we'll have some water down here maybe there's some little weeds that grow back in here look at that is that easy that is all you gotta do is take and tap it just tap it it's like playing the war drum here my father was a was a Cherokee Indian so I can play the war drum here. Okay, so I guess this, actually let me see, this back there is the phantom's foot, or the, so this belongs to the phantom, the orange part there. Still have the, the sword here that I need to do. All right, so that should be actually it. So let's do this here, just a corner. Okay, yeah, that should be enough, I guess. So now I just uh, activate the bottom layer again and you can see now compared to the original which I don't have anymore sadly but if we remove the vibrancy you can already see um, that my character starts popping out way more and the cool thing now is that we can actually manipulate the top layer so what we can do in the top layer is we can do an additional vibrancy but now instead of making it very vibrant, we just remove some of the saturation um, like this. So now you can see that the phantom or the, uh, the opponent is, is slowly go fading into the background and my character is more in the foreground. And I think this can, depending on what scene you select, this can look quite cool. And it also makes the text very readable. So yeah, that's already it for this short tutorial. I hope they gave you an idea on how you could um, work with your thumbnails. And if you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe, and I see you in the next one. Bye.